today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me and I wore this look to Madame Tussauds opening. It's a very glamorous red carpet look and if you want to know how to get this then please keep on watching. First of all I'm taking my hair out from the bun that it was resting in and then just brushing it out using my tangle teaser to ensure that my hair has no knots whatsoever. Then I'm going to divide it into two sections and I'm going to take my mousse from Garnier and I'm just going to apply it all over my lens just to ensure that my curls stay in place for a longer time and my curls actually stayed in place for three whole days which is amazing. Then I'm going to take Juicy Chemistry's White Tea and Hibiscus Face Toner and I'm going to mist it all over my face. I love this, it just refreshes me so. Onto the lip balm, I'm going to use Kiehl's Cranberry Lip Balm and I'm going to generously apply it all over my lips because I will be wearing a liquid lipsticks afterwards and then an essential step I'm gonna take my hand cream from soap and glory and then just lather up my hands in it to moisturize my face I'm gonna use packed makeup moisture lotion this just ensures that my makeup stays in place really nicely and it sits really nicely on my face as well so I'm just massaging it and then I'm gonna tie my hair up in a high ponytail make sure it's as high as you want your curls to be and oh my god tying hair in winter clothes is one of the biggest tasks ever and then I'm just gonna take thin sections from this ponytail and I'm gonna take my Coriolis hot stick which is a really thin curling wand and I'm just gonna wrap my hair around this curling wand and I'm gonna let it sit there for about 10 seconds or so and not let it burn obviously and then I'm gonna just like let loose of it and I had the most beautiful afro curl ever like it was so tight and springy then I'm just going to repeat that all over my head to get nice, tight and springy curls and you know, I just love these curls so much and once I have a head full of that, I'm just going to take my hairspray and I'm going to spray it down so that they stay in place again. I really need to work on my hair for them to, you know, stay in place. Starting off with my makeup, I'm going to take my Becca Backlight Filter Primer. Oh my god, this primer is love. I'm really massaging this into my skin, putting it inside. It just makes my skin look so healthy. <sighs> Love it. Then I'm gonna take this orange color corrector from Victoria Fashion Girl palette and I'm just gonna apply it under my eyes. I was trying to use a brush first, but then I just moved on to my finger first. So I'm just applying it everywhere where I have slight pigmentation or darkness and then I'm just blending it out really nicely using a beautiful Sigma brush. Moving on to my current favorite foundation with my current favorite foundation brush. Foundation is Milani and brush is NYX. I'm just going to first dot it all over my face and then I'm going to stipple it and then blend it out really nicely just to ensure my face has a nice coverage and it also covers the orange color corrected nest. And then I'm going to move on to the same palette with the concealer shade. I'm going to go under my eyes to make them look all sorts of flawless. So yes, that's what I'm doing. I'm also going to be applying it to the other high points of my face, that is the bridge of my nose. Between my brows and my forehead, my cupid's bow and chin. And once I am done with that, I will be moving on to the contour shade, which is um, slightly little dark for me. Very dark for me. I, I realized it. But the good part about this is that it blends out really nicely. And I did go over with my foundation brush once just to ensure that, you know, it was all nice and blended out. So I'm using that same Sigma brush. This is the Concealer Kabuki brush. And I'm just blending every things out like blend it out once I'm done this is what I'm gonna look like to set my foundation and concealer into place I'm gonna use this color bar powder and I'm just gonna apply it all over my face with a very light hand I don't want a powdery finish so I'm just going with a very light hand for my blush I'm using this essence blush up blush and I'm just gonna use the pink side and apply it all over my cheeks again with a very soft hand because I don't want like extremely blushed look for my highlighter, I'm going in with my Love Champagne Pop from Becca and I'm just going to apply it all over my cheekbones and other high points with the help of the Sigma Powder Sweep Brush. Oh my god, this highlighter though, like every time I use it, I fall in love with it all over again and I'm going a little bit ham heavy, but that's how I am. So yes, once I'm done with that, just to ensure that everything melts into one another, I'm just going to use this NYX Dewy Finish Makeup Mist Spray and I'm just going to spritz all over my face. 
To start off with my eyes, I'm gonna use Blush Nude by Maybelline and picking up this brown shade, I'm gonna put it into my crease. I'm using a NYX brush for this and I'm gonna blow this out and I'm gradually building on the color. I'm not taking a lot in one go, but I'm taking a little bit of color at one time. I'm also putting it on my lower lash line and then I'm gonna take this beautiful pearlescent sort of a color and I'm gonna put this all across my lid as my base shadow for my glitter to pop nicely. So I'm just packing this on and blending it with my brown as well. After which, I'm gonna take my NYX glitter line and I'm gonna apply it all over my lid. This is such a beautiful liner, it automatically transforms any look into a glam look which I love and that is why I did not even do my eyebrows earlier because it will give me some time to let the eyeliner dry and I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows with Anastasia Brow Pomade so I'm just gonna be filling in my brows, defining them, shaping my arch and everything so that's what I'm doing, I'm going slightly light handed on my brows so I'm not going all ham in so yeah that's what I'm doing so I'm just defining my brows after which my glitter line would have dried so I'm moving on to my liquid liner and I'm going to be just do making a wing liner the normal you know wing liner but I'm not going like a crazy wing but a normal wing After which obviously comes mascara, so I'm gonna be applying Lash Sensational by Maybelline. This makes your lashes look wow wow boom, I've said this line a million times but that's what it is. So yeah, I'm just gonna be applying it on my upper and lower lashes both. After which, moving on to lips, I'm gonna be using Mary Jo K by Kylie Cosmetics. I'm gonna be applying it on my lips which you can't really see, I'm out of frame. But yeah, I'm just applying to my lips and then I'm taking 22 and applying it on the centers of my lips just to give my lips some extra dimension and after that, I'm gonna be applying false. After that, I'm just gonna open up my hair and just toss it around, you know, just to make it look more naturally curly. And with that, I finished my get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you didn't, don't forget to comment and subscribe. I will see you guys super soon. Till then, take care. I love you all so much. Bye.